Welcome back to the land of the pirates in Rogue Waters. Last time we played, we had a second showdown against our former Captain Blackbone. A dad joke for the crowd, courtesy of Ward Square. How does a pirate measure distance in yards? No refunds. So I believe our next quest here is to capture all of the abyssal creatures. We have two out of three under our control. We have to get the third. Is there anything I can buy for the ship? Eight thousand points for the next command point. Could buy more starting money. And let's get another starting cannon capacity for later. Moon Shadow with the Prime Sub in four months. Which building would I pick it against the storm? It's the clan hall. It's always the clan hall. So our story mode quest is the trench. Yeah, that's probably where we'll get the third abyssal creature. All enemy ships will have fortified cabins, giving enemies one max health. That's not too bad. We're playing on Heroic 2, which is the highest uh, difficulty we're allowed. So far, we haven't had any difficulty with the raids, so I will continue to max out the difficulty. Clan Hall, because it's fun. I think that's the one that doubles camp yields, right? I really like that. The doubled output. On almost any map. A bit expensive to make, but a worthy investment. Plus, it just looks badass. But yeah, give me a Clan Hall, give me some large stone nodes, and I have a good time. Our lookout reports a ship up ahead with an upside-down flag, a signal for help. But the closer you get, the more you realize it's too late for them. Yeah, the smell is quite something, eh? It's eating your brain away, all that sweet glass poison. Stay on your toes, Cutter, otherwise you'll end up like these greedy bastards. Gain a wound for Captain Cutter to gain some money. I've got lots of purple enemies coming up. Sure. How brave you send in your men instead of going yourself. Captain, these be monster hunter waters. Beware. So, in Rogue Waters, we're playing through a series of combats, kind of roguelite style. Each combat consists of two phases. First, we'll fight the enemy ship. Um, in... Uh, cannon combat. And then after that, we fight their crew in a boarding turn-based combat. Feels a little bit XCOM. Or maybe Into the Breach. If we can take out this trapper, we'll get rewarded with a Shipwrecker cannon. I don't really like the rewards from the other two. I'll fight this trapper. Let's pick it to the bones! I like getting good cannons early. It really help make all the remaining encounters easier. Oh, we got new enemy types aboard these. Seagulls. And harpooners. You can throw javelins. Interesting. They've got a heavy cannon. Spooky. Does four damage. We're going to hate that. And a deck sweeper. We have a cannon breaker that can shoot other cannons and a shipwrecker that can take out their modules. Later on, we get a deck sweeper active. So that heavy cannon is going to mess me up. That's not good. I don't think I can stop it from hitting us. Concerning. We reduce our crew by one. Oof. 
quite bad. There is a very sight. Maybe we can stop the cannon from hurting us on turn three. Or maybe even on turn two, actually. The heavy cannon is going to kill one of our mates. The deck sweeper is going to hurt little Johnny. Little Johnny is fine, though. He's got regeneration three. He don't care. Nice. We actually took it out in two shots. That's lucky. Really lucky. All right. We should remove their damage bonus, probably. Or actually, what if I just remove their max health and then kill one of them next turn? We should be able to get most of them on turn one. Sweet oh, this is only one command point. Even better. And Sharkbait Niala is also getting shot. Oh, she's not. Good high rolls on our Cannon Breaker there. Really lucky. Ready, fire. Yeah. Do, do you just fight ships in this game? Yeah, just, just ships or fortresses. Uh, and then their crew on board. The sea monsters are more like summons on your side. Why are we getting the blank tutorial here? Oh, I see, because there's slime on the deck that applies blight. Interesting. So we're starting in the middle here. Looks pretty easy overall. Looks pretty easy indeed. Should be able to kill them all on turn one here. That's one damage, three push. I can throw this nerd into the spikes here. Our a wrestler. No, I'm ready. Then Shark Bait Niala can probably kill this fool. My wrestle will throw you. You don't take that much, actually. Only two. Hmm. I'll shoot with a pistol, though. Only the choicest meets for my captain. Leave none standing. Okay, we'll do it like this. Each of our units gets one move and one action on their turn. Some abilities are free actions, uh, very XCOM-like as well. Who needs killing? Why does this look like the ships from Divinity Original 2? I think it's just a combination of it being a boat, as well as the, like, camera angle. Isometric style. A helping boys, tendril. Captain. What? There's something deep down there amid the rocks. And make an offering of gold to gain six abyssal ether. Or offer an item, but I don't have one. I've already got three out of six. Abyssal ether is the resource that we use to summon the sea monsters during combats. I don't think I want to spend my money on this. Sail away. Hunters, gunners ready. Grapples ready. The rest of you, sober up. Wait, did I remember to equip that cannon? Yes, good. 
We got a Shipwrecker 3. It's just a better version of the Shipwrecker. Does one more damage. And I can fire them both if I really want to take out the enemy modules. Oh, crap. We got another heavy cannon. Anchor. That man has 10 health. Oh, I see they have lots of max health. Hmm. Concerning. That's so much damage. Oh, we're in for a tough time here. We're gonna get shot up quite a bit. Let's hear those yeah, we're definitely roll. in bad shape now. Oh boy. Fire it. Give me splinters and ruin. Okay. Little Johnny can tank that hit at least. Let's try to take out the mortars then. Nice. He's got lots of armor. Let's lower his health. Let's say human spikes. Human spikes. less damage than I would have expected. Our cannon loses all its health, which means it takes one... loses one of its max health, basically, until we repair the damage. One of the most fearsome hunters is the Anchor. She can skillfully wield her nautical weapon. And spikes mean she applies bleeding to those who attack her in melee. Neat. Not much health, though, so I think that means uh, our dear captain can simply shoot her on turn one. Let's try this loadout. Let's get underway. Should have checked if anyone had level ups. Oh well. Come here. I saved you a slice. Let's have a gander at your insides. Let's find me some prey. Oh, you have two armor. Hmm. <laughs> That's right. You have two armor. A bit more of a problem then. In that case, little Johnny probably wants to over there, huh? Hmm. Concerning. What skullduggery needs doing? All right, we can do this then. Run that by me once more. The Kraken, you say? Kirk Bait Niala does bonus damage when enemies are tossed into her, so we can use Undertow Reno to throw the anchor to Shark Bait. And that'll get him. With some overkill damage besides. Uh, and then we can deal with these two. Seems fine. Definitely grateful the game has an undo button. Hi, it's time. This meter at the top fills up whenever we deal overkill damage to enemies. Oh, yeah, I'm a vengeful shadow. Too dumb to see the trap closing in. Oh, they can reposition, huh? Interesting. Tasty. No problem, though. Pass the rum. You know I'm ready. Off now. Who needs killing?
Not quite a kill, huh? For <laughs> Until she throws him off the ship. Excellent. Not bad. Get a light cannon three. I like that. Get some money. Monster Hunter Supplies. You search dozens of islands until at last you find it. Dead Man's Market. A bazaar that can only be visited when the tide is low. It's a thieves' paradise. They say you can buy almost anything here. But some deals might be more than you bargained for. We're looking for underwater breathers. Monster hunters use them to dive down and raid monster nests and the like. After meandering through a labyrinth of enticing stalls, you start to worry about the tide. But then you spy the one you want. The peddler seems to know you by sight. She smiles and winks at you, then demands a sum twice what she charged the hunters. I sell only the best. Don't like it shut off. Ooh, I want that handgun. Shoot an enemy for one damage, apply minus one armor. And you're telling me I get the stuff for free? I'm in. What's the worst that could happen? They look like an easy mark, Mr. Wilkes. Aye, Captain, but you never know with the hunters. Tricky, a lot of them. Yeah, Tuna have this old saying, you never see the net till you're in it. That's right, I speak Tuna. You should talk to them, Cutter. They're very wise. Are they? So the goal reached the extraction point over here. We don't have to defeat the enemies, but looks like I'm probably going to. Get at least two of the harpooners dead this turn. They should have surrendered. Easier to kill that way. This guy's uh, not in a good spot. I'm afraid. Let's stir the pot. Definitely get two of them. <laughs> I'll have your guts for garters. I'll call you like a owl. Where do you want me? He doesn't even die. How rude. I'll tie you nuts. I've been able to do that slightly differently. Doesn't matter too much, though. Just be your wicked selves. Your blade weaves a thin spell. Uh. Mort. Come on, let's drop these cubs. Dead yet. Okay, we're still blighted. Yes. We can remove bleeding, but not blight. That's fine, though. At least I have to imagine. Um, all we have to do is get to the extraction point, right? Four. 
but that's close. What does engage do in this game? If you and an enemy are next to each other, um, then they both get the engage status. When you're engaged, you only have one movement. You can only move one tile. I'm up for anything. Looks like everything's fine, though. This is fine. Come here. I saved you a slice. I'll descend like a storm. He'll be fine. Uh, yeah, My that should work, burns. right? I ain't seen that because they keeps me hungry. I love to play with my prey. <laughs> what? Me? Worried. Okay, that means I can't quite make it out this turn, What's actually, because Reno's next? no longer in the right spot. If I understand how this works correctly. Now you're That's talking. Fine. <laughs> What's the job? I'm up for anything. Still in the fight. Damage one push. He'll be fine. Let's go find some trouble, eh, Cutter? <clears throat> we'll carve them up and sell them for parts. The damage, though. Look at Shark. He's so tanky, he don't care. Seems <laughs> solid enough. Escape. Perfect. We get away, we get the pistol. We get the quest thing. Perfect. Now we either face this elite prowler, which gives a contagion knife. Attack an enemy in melee, dealing no damage. If the target has blight, apply it to all enemies around the target. Applies one blight. Kind of neat. Or beyond the horizon. Let's take the event here. I haven't aye. seen all the events in this Help. game. Not nearly. You know you're heavy. Got lots of money, too. A charming bay lies ahead, lad. I don't doubt the crew would could do with some respite in these calm waters after the hell we've been through. Heal a wound off a crewman. That sounds great. Under Torino healed his wound. Good job. And at the secluded shrine, we might be able to heal the wound off Captain Cutter, too. That's random. Okay, give me a random. Dark Bait Niala heal healed her one wound. She doesn't have very much max health, so I'm pretty happy with that. Heavy Cannon 4. That's a hell of a reward. I like it. Is this Slay the Spirits? Yeah, pretty much. Dead ahead. Let's hit them hard and fast. I want cannon crews and warders. Not the rum. 
No, they can shoot the rum. That's fine. Although there's no reason to let them shoot the rum. Fire. Well done, crew. We got their cannons. This will fire next turn. That's going to be spooky, though. Should have maybe shot at that first. Crew of damage bonus, crew of movement, crew of max health, crew of mean to engaged, crew of max health. Um, don't let them have a damage bonus. Okay, the heavy cannon is shooting our cannon breaker. That's maybe fine. Deck sweeper is shooting little Johnny. That is fine. Light cannon is shooting the captain. That is also mostly fine. Probably then I should weaken the stupid heavy mortar here. How much does this game cost? I think it's 20 bucks. Maybe 30 now after the release week. That was 20. Thirty doubloons. Does seem like the type of game that will go on sale eventually too. So it's worth wish listing if you just want it for maybe later. That's a good hit. So that's guaranteed dead next turn. Good. So then two command points. I can either use the deck sweeper or a shipwrecker. Let's take out those max elves. Fire. Let's bloody the water. More Only shooting a mate. That's not that important. The deck sweeper shooting Niala is actually a bigger problem, so we have to stop the deck sweeper then. We allow the heavy cannon to fire. Shame then, that was a waste we put the damage into it. In fact, I also cannot. It's only 50 50 I can take this out at all. That's not good. I guess Niala's getting wounded, maybe. Hmm. Might as well roll the 50 50, though. Or wait. No. I can't save her at all. Never mind. That's no point. Well, heck. Shoot their cabins, then. Lots of enemy crew, too. It's a bit tough. Harpooners don't have that much health, though. And one random matey. This is a handgun stand. Cool, we should go to that. Overkill could be helpful here, too. It's one way to win, is just fill up the fear meter. Can definitely do some stuff. On with you, sir. Ha! Appears they bite back. The sea queen awaits you in her dark fathoms. Who's see people with from me? here. 
Oh, no, I don't have a line of sight, though. Hmm. Ooh. That was lovely. I believe I need a smoke. Oi, got something cooking. Right you are. Except, I mean, at this fight. So by filling up the fear meter, we get an immediate victory. And now we have the heavy cannon. Excellent. That's going to let us really blast stuff apart. Captain, we're nearing the trench. Into the trench. I don't know about you, but I keep catching myself holding my breath. At last, we arrive in the area where Blackbone's old ship went down, the wreck of the Shrieking Serpent. Too deep a place to drop anchor, so we take in the sails and drift. Wilkes tries to hide his worry, but the men can see how he mumbles and snaps at the slightest provocation. Take this rope cutter. When you find Blackbone's trunk, tie it firm and give it a yank. You call the mermaid, grab hold of her rear fin, and are soon plummeting down to the murky depths. Her presence scatters the hungry sharks, but we suspect they'll still return. Our breather works almost too well. The sensation of breathing water feels so familiar, you must remind yourself it's unnatural. Your descent seems an eternity, and you wonder how long your breather will last. When the shape of the wreck appears in the gloom, the strangest sensation watches over you. A mixture of the frightful and familiar. To think that this monstrous frame, covered in seaweed and barnacles, was once your childhood home. Entering the captain's cabin, you find the trunk with the Sea Shepherd journals inside. You tie the rope around it and signal the crew to pull it up. Be cautious, there may be other treasures in Blackbone's cabin. As you explore the seaweed-choked cabin, your eyes land upon a scrimshaw handle knife. It took you four solid months to carve. Oh, I can't lose Abyssal Ether. BB's old flintlock. Three damage. Apply stun. I want this. And I'm willing to... Trade the handgun? Two wounds is a lot to ask. Let's trade the handgun for the better handgun. With the help of the mermaid, at the last moment, you successfully catch the end of the rope and swim to the surface. There he is. Pull him up, boys. At last, we were afraid we'd lost you. The trunk has been brought on board. Fighting ring. Let's go to the fighting ring. New heading. Point of contention has started to swirl around a shiny piece of loot from the last adventure, and tensions are high. Raised voices and a few choice punches might be the first sign of a row simmering like a pot ready to boil over. Remember that fat cat merchant we rolled at the last port? The one had rings on every finger? Well, everyone got a ring off him. Some silver, some brass. Only Longpipe share turned out to be gold with a shiny jewel. Little Eddie says it's unfair. Longpipe won't give it up. They settled with fists, but the crew's still a buzz. Talk John about loot shares. Best snip it in the bud. Give me the ring. The regen ring. Or we can, like, sell it. 
Five lashes for both men. Put that on, Captain. Applies one blank to us or the enemy? Level gun's pretty good, too. I want to try the raw glass weapons. Take us in and ready borders. Plus one damage bonus is very strong. Holy cannons, though. Got a heavy cannon three as well. No match for my heavy cannon four. We'll have them shredded in no time. Yes. What he said. Give up hell. And then this fire is here, I guess. Get that tank to hit. We lose that. The heavy cannon is shooting the captain. That's unacceptable. We should use our own heavy cannon and take out their heavy cannon. I imagine. Cannon crew, give them a broadside. This does guarantee two. Aim for our veils. Scurry, you lot. Little gun is shooting this. That doesn't matter. Cannon breaker might be breaking my deck sweeper. That does matter. This is shooting my rum. I don't care about the rum. Kill this. Fire. Show them off, balls, Mr. Wilkes. Mr. Wilkes. My movement I do value. So we go cannon breaker. Give him another. I cannon. We can heavy cannon one of their men. I can take out one harpooner, or I can remove their max HP. Take out the max HP. Bit of a tough encounter, though. Happy wishes. Thanks for three months. Ooh, applies minus two armor for one turn. Somewhat of an idea. Yeah, let's do it. You know I'm ready. That's as cracked as a snail's egg, sir. Uh, you don't mind me saying. It's mean to being pushed, though, right? You say the word. Well, this can still work, though. Here I, think. I come. Run that by me once more. It's two here. Who's for the chopper? That's a lot more fear then. Are you listening? Here's the plan. Kill them all. Give the drowned goddess a kiss for me when you see her. What'll it be? I'm all for it. And then have the wrestler throw the harpooner into Niala here. Oh, well, it's not quite it, huh? Not quite. Ain't no way, are you daft? Are you Ain't daft? 
if Captain Cutter does this? Can't get over there. Tisk tisk. I guess I can just wait one more turn to win. That's fine. Who needs killing? Have I seen the game Witchfire? Can't say that I have. Actually, wait. Captain Cutter might be able to get a, to finish the job here. Because this does three, right? Yeah, so we just do this. Shoot you. Swing on the rope. Go here. Pin this fool against the wall. Fill up the fear meter. Win the fight. The whole rest of the crew surrenders there. Your mechanic seems like it's pretty exploitable. And it's gonna be even more so with raw glass weapons. Very well, but to the dock works. Not all our fortunes, shall we? As well by the pendant of toughness. Sure. If nothing else, it's something else for the enemy cannons to shoot at. The local outpost lies too close to the wreck. We can't risk leaving those hunters alive to report our activities to Blackbone. Cut them down to the last. To the last. But start with the first. For assailing the monster hunter slaughterhouse, the mermaid asks a favor. He wants to strike the first blow and visit her revenge on the hunters. Saying that I get less rewards if I do it that way. Make it easy on me. Give the mermaid a few minutes, but that is all she needs. When you arrive, the halls are slick with blood, and you know that she's thinned the numbers of your enemies ahead. And yeah, we still get the same stuff. Not for the first time, an inner voice stirs not shivs but your own. It is repelled that you've betrayed your species in some way. It sounds far away, deep beneath the waves, and right now you choose not to listen. None of their cannons? Oh my good lord, that's a lot of heavy cannons. Spooky. Ugh. It's bad. Fire! Bring them! I'm not done with this lot! Yeah, I can take out both heavy cannons though, that's pretty good. Oh, they can fire all of them? Terrifying. Um, what if this only rolls one, though? We cry. Only shooting a mate. Fire at will. Yeah, it did only roll one. It's still fine. Shoot something else then. Damage report, Captain. It's not good. Oh. 
Oh, little Johnny is getting obliterated. We have to save him. Save Johnny! Well done, Captain. And then just take another one max health off them. I think that's the way to go here. the bad news they know who the greatest threat is they do yeah they do being able to throw a blight flask at them is pretty cute doesn't seem that bad Oh yeah, we have Blight. Okay. But we have plus one damage. So I imagine everything is A-OK -okay here. Although there's no fear meter, huh? We have to actually win the fight. Hmm. That is more concerning. <laughs> is more of a concern. They have a damage bonus as well. They're extra hurtful. Newted. But we have, uh... Oh, yeah, we can just scream at them. That's right. Never mind. This is fine. Don't forget to squish them. Tentacles. That's right. Uh, in fact, I can I can probably use the mermaid scream to line them up, if I understand this correctly. So everyone gets pushed away from the tile we choose. So now we have a nice lineup here. And the Kraken. The doors are closed. Me at last. Okay, well that looks really easy now. You almost feel bad for him. trunk and the journals were well preserved the trouble is they're all written in one of his ciphers let me see mm, yes this looks familiar blackbone taught me ciphers as a boy made me study them for hours i had a knack for him helped him create a few in fact he once said that was why he took me in you and your codes always were a bright boy oh my smarty farty little cutter the trouble is I haven't seen these symbols since I was a child. I remember these notes, but that's not one of the codes I've worked with. Favorite game of this year so far? Probably um, Shogun Showdown, actually. Really like that. We'll need to find the decryption key, or it'll take months to decipher all of this. Keys and ciphers? That's the stuff of learned men. Things we know bugger all about. Perhaps we should pay a visit to our new friend, Captain Pierce. He's read a book or three. Maybe he'll chart us a new course, eh? Maybe. Pierce! Ha! 
That puffed up peacock still alive. Aye, he still hates Blackbone near as much as you do. Darting cannon. I mean, we can choose light cannon one or light cannon two to start with. Obviously, we choose light cannon two. Any plans to check out the potato DLC? Yes. Coming out soon, so we're definitely going to play it when it launches. I might not do it this week, though. But yeah, it's coming out end of this month, so yes, definitely. I have damage, crack and slam. I like it. Okay. To the archives. Stuck on heroic two. Oh, unlock higher challenge shears by defeating Blackbone. That makes sense. Is this game a new release? Yes. Oh, I forgot to level up. I keep doing that. Damn it. Ugh. Captain Beer says we'll I also shouldn't have brought Niella here. He's stored in a place called the archives. Full of books, he says. Probably why we've never heard of it. And Breaker 3 is pretty good. Sure. Sally Ho! A glass trader with a hole full of delights, no doubt. We'll soon. We'll soon something something. Two command points or whatever. Fire! Shove our ball down their throats! All crews, fire at will. Take out their Reload. armor. Swiftly now. We've got lots of regen. Fire, damn it! Blast! This is proving cold. Why is all the rum gone? My rum. Fire, you field rats! Did I see the slack off? Mm. Fire it will. I don't think so. Let's pick off some of their stupid crew. Do swivel gun, shipwrecker, light cannon. Cannons sound off. Look at the regen too. Make the sea turn red. Then one to three, just weaken this fool. Gunners, ready another round. We'll just gank him on turn one. Also, just win by fear on turn one here. I never laugh at another's misfortunes unless it's funny. <laughs> Is funny. What's next? I see pain in your future. I'll take care of it. You're being pushed, though, right? You point, I kill. I do this then. Pass the rum. Oh, like demons. Like, like you too, right? Yeah. Demons. It's fine. What now? Who needs fear? I do hope. Those weapons were clean. Let's have a gander, Jane Sons. 
My blades are itching to dance. They're insult sword fighting? Yes. Or at the very least, insults during sword fighting. How's it going, Phoenix Lark? Welcome, welcome. Take that a lark. Plus one damage bonus for a turn. That's a He's good a combat prize. item. Let's take it. That's a good combat item. They've got two deck sweepers and some pretty tough enemies. Whale tail and hammerhead harbor armor. Actually, the hammerhead has a repost. I see you. No Very cannons fine. for you. Reload and let's have some more. Fire. Well done, crew. So we just fire all that remains here. We got that hammer. In. Fire. The water. They're annoying. Sweet nerf, Fire. Reload. We can get the uh, whale tail too, actually. Fire. Make them beg for their miserable then it's just three pawns. That's pretty sad. Sorry, two pawns. <laughs> That's really sad. <laughs> Heel hole. The only way they learn. <laughs> I'll have shortcuts for garters. When you meet the devil, tell him Captain Cutter sent you. It was just sad. I'm to spill the rum and some blood. on you, actually. Profiteer. The Brew of Take Iron. Us in, Wilkes. Let's go introduce ourselves. Get more of these nerds. Oh, they've got real cannons, though. to keep the swivel gun possible good shooting Fire! really good shooting excellent the crew is minus max health oh I see in case I want to shoot the crew Have some more. Let's hear those cannons roar. Cannons, rain fire. Aim for our rails. Scurry, you lot. Fisherman. Not much of a boarding crew left for them. Well done, Captain. My shots miss. With the cannons, no. Hey, Some cannons have God variable amounts of damage, seas. though. Let's say we plunder them for a change. And there are cannons where the minimum damage is zero, so those cannons can roll zero damage, which is kind of like missing. Sometimes we do see eye to eye, it seems. Yeah, eye to eye. I see what they did there. Not sure I like that smile, Cutter. 
I'm up for anything. For mercy. Numb. All right, we should be able to heal somebody's wound here. Do that. Dark bait and Yala heals one of those two wounds. That's great. She really, really, really need, needed that. With a hole threatening to burst, let's offer our assistance. Can heal another one at the next shrine too. Oh no, not the, not the mates. Anything but the mates. The sea goddess is with us. A lot of deck sweeping, though. Give him a broadside. That one's not a problem. These two are an issue, though. I can't I can't abide that. Sweep the deck. Fire! Show them our balls, Mr. Wilkes! Fire it! I give me splinters and ruin! Give them another! I nice. got it up! Well done, Captain! Devastating! Does the rightmost cannon not require action points? That's correct. That one's a swivel gun, which is like a... Like the precursor to anti-air guns. It's basically like a, a tiny cannon mounted on a swivel on the upper deck of the ship. It doesn't take up one of the actual cannon ports for the ship. They're kind of like little bonus guns that you, your crew fire as the enemy ship gets closer a weird part of uh, nautical history. Those things. Look in sharp. Avast ye fools. directions are quite funny. If I throw him into Captain Cutter, he dies. Nowhere else does he die. Interesting. I guess that's because the push must end. Sure. Here it comes. Captain just promised a, a big... Promotion. Ooh, that's the stuff, Lanny. Only the choices meet for my captain. Let's see if you die better than you fight. Lawless. We get a glass cannon, which has high output, low cost, but only one hit point. If you can protect it, it's great. If you can't, well, it's not. Swap out the cannon breaker too for that thing. So it can shoot things that are not cannons. We have an elite magnate. 
Apply one damage bonus after each action taken, including movement. Apply one minus one armor after each action taken, including movement. Oh my. That's quite something. Class traders. No escort. She's ours. Lots of cannons here, too. Got flintlocks, stingray, bootlickers. The blighted goddess figurehead applies blight to both crews. That could arguably be a good thing. Although we'd have to get rid of their regeneration. I'll get rid of their damage bonus. wrong. Blight 2. Deeply unclear. Fire! Well done, crew! Fire! Let's bloody the water! Take this out. How am I liking the different style of gameplay for this? I think it's pretty cool. Yeah, I'm liking it. Oh, that guy can take a ton of damage. The gameplay is pretty fun at its core. Oi, I got extra salt in this stew. It's a good time. We'll swab this Wait, deck no, I did with their blood. Save some for later. Ah, a minor setback, I assure you. Oh, don't you dare do that again. Who wants a hug? Then. Not what I aimed at, but I'll take it. I'm not throwing away my shot. Victory is within our sights. Take aim shots if we're still in their range next turn. They can do big damage to us. But there's lots of ways to avoid is really not so bad. Pass the rum. 
Why is all the room I'll gone? instructions, as long as you give them real slow, like... I'll carve you like a owl. Didn't want to do any damage. Minus one damage bonus for some reason. Hmm. Unclear why that happened. Okay, and that does interrupt their shot if they get shot themselves. That's good to know. Ready. How about a poke in the hand? Oh, it's because of the damage amulet. Interesting. How would I rate this game in terms of variety and replayability? I think that it will struggle to stay interesting once we finish the main story. But I want to do that at least. I think it's got a, a cool story mode. I think it'll be fun to play through one time. But I don't expect it to last beyond that. Damage. I can have some rum. Let no one stand in my way. Oh, I'm injured. Ah. Oi, oi, how about you? Damn, I just cleaned this rifle. <laughs> Your damage bonus is fixed, little Johnny. No. No, it is not. Come here. I saved you a slice. You will answer for this impudence. Either Jen Koviak. Uh -huh. I believe Lady Luck just gave me a wink. Man overboard. Getting one of the mates wounded is no big deal. The, the damage amulet is bugged. The crew is bone weary, as are you. Let's all rest up and be ready for the shit storm ahead. Dark Batniala heals her other wounds too. Good. Thanks, Sal. Ship slices through the waves, drawing closer to the shipwreck ahead. Mr. Wilkes' report sends a ripple of excitement and apprehension among the crew. Them's the bones of an old merchant bark out there, ran afoul of harpies, and appears they've been looting. No doubt made a nice little nest for themselves. Should be some plunder inside if those flying twats haven't made off with it. Boys are eager for a look inside. So, what orders, Captain? In a random rare module, in a random rare item, or we wait. Wait, I don't want wounds here. Gain money. Let me sail away. Hip Wrecker 4, badass. Bring me that ship, Mr. Wilkes. More chaos. This one out first. Hooray! 
one more command point. They have seven stingrays. Holy crap. That's a big ship. Look at this thing. Stuff. Yes! Good shot, Mr. Wilts! Unleash hell! Cannons, sound off! Cool. Fire! The leather. the rum right boys show them what we're made of and Wilkes are you captain stop watching me like I'm about to snap and turn into a murderous man shark would you am I aye aye captain okay the fear meter is not that big so and there's lots of enemies so the easiest way to win this is definitely through the fear mechanic Hundred percent. And I have just the thing. Ah, sure the captain We're about to win. is a monster. Pistol does five damage. You say the word. What's the job? Can't move yet. So Captain Cutter shoots this nerd. We get four fear. In her dark fathoms. And another plus one damage bonus. We position Sharkbait Niala here. She pushes the bootlicker towards Captain Cutter. Captain Cutter kills him, and we get another three points of fear. All of them surrendered. Improve the shipwrecker, shall we? Easy as she goes. And we have like lots of money for the Royal Vitrine Company shipyard. My crew is immune to engaged, yes. is mediocre. I don't really want this. So 
give me stuff to tank hits with. Hopefully those yellow-bellied bookworms will surrender without a fight. They've got a fortress, so I doubt it. But I have a Kraken. According to Captain Pierce, Blackbone's got an army of chroniclers in there, waiting, writing down his history for posterity. They can do that. They must have the decryption key. Tell them it's the legendary Captain Cutter. Surrender or die. We have heard of the far-fetched deeds of Captain Cutter. Abandon those books to a barbaric pirate like you. We refuse. Attack! Screw it. Just kill them. Just a bunch of chumps with bombs or whatever. And these modules I purchased are doing their job. health, one movement, retaliation. Definitely take out the armor first. Down their let's work on these decks. We I want that movement. There. Now we have them. Fire. Boarding party. Make the deck super light cannon or the shipwrecker. Look at their max health. Okay, final round. It's fine if that gets shot. So we can focus on dealing as much damage to them as possible. Which I imagine means getting rid of this stupid powder barrel. Fire! Make them beg for their miserable lives! for that. Alright, looks plenty easy. Reminding me about the Kraken. Stunned him. Yeah, what's got into you, old son? 
Got me with the net. I see. Being crazy is my job. you for a light how long you suffer this madness eh give me stamp onward mateys let nothing stop us <laughs> you pay dearly for striking me <laughs> how barbaric A six sphere. Good lord. He found one chronicler's body. No wound. Seems his heart gave out, the poor dear. Had this decryption key in his pocket. Fashioned of polished glass. Just look at all these nobbles and wazzles. Think you can work the it? who's it and what's it? Let's tweak some nobbles and find out, Mr. Wilkes. Yes. Do that. Okay, we cannot forget. Level up our characters. First and foremost. Days with these journals and the key, scribbling notes, drawing symbols, wanting. What nonsense! You still believe the words of that madam? That Blackbone is afraid of this. The Sea Shepherd. I begin to believe it more with each page I decipher. Rather, I believe that Blackbone believes. It says here he wields a power to control even the sea urchins. That doesn't sound very helpful. Why would a man with such power over the sea stay hidden and allow someone like Blackbone to go on defiling the goddess? That will be my very first question once we find the bastard. These journals talk about him at length. The problem is they don't say where to find him. Maybe it's you, Captain. Why not? You could already command creatures of the sea, eh? True. I don't command them, Mr. Wilkes. I speak to them. I make requests. Uh, occasionally they listen. Hmm. It's only possible because of this cursed trinket in my eye. It's not like I was born to it. I'm just a common pirate afflicted by a pesky curse. Perfectly normal. You calling me pesky? I rather like that. I like you too, pesky plums. So, what's left? If you can't find the sea shepherd in these notes. I did find something promising. A map that leads to the lair of a beast called the Sarmatian Snail. Well, what's more threatening than controlling sea urchins? Controlling a snail. Perfect. We'll defeat those sea urchins in no time. It seems that was the first sea monster that Blackburn became interested in. Show me the map. There is a glass trader's fortress in that area. Sarmatian Snail is enormous. It won't be hard to find its present. Perhaps freeing this Sarmatian snail will bring us closer to finding the Sea Shepherd. Or at least help us vent our frustrations. Okay, to the crew. Quarters here. We only have one skill point, apparently. And we have more movement on the captain. Little Johnny is not yet leveled up. Has no skill points, actually. Okay. Workbait Niala has one. We want two max health. Please, good lord, give me two max health. He's not tough enough. Three max health. Stronger. Try out the flex. Bulky and weak. I think we just save up for the last command point, because command points are OP. Oh, but I can get better starting cannons, that's right. Oh yeah, let's unlock these.
Things are all mediocre. Oh, Captain Cutter plus one damage bonus minus one armor. Wait. Wait. Use the basic rub. Glass cannon too. We're allowed to start with a glass cannon. I would love to start with a glass cannon. We'll also start with a mortar. It's only usable on turn three, but does huge damage. I think I'd rather replace the shipwrecker with a volley gun. Let me fire each of these. Although I can only fire three of them on turn one, that's fine. Stakes here is a boss fight for the Sarmatian Snail Lair. Okay, we'll make this the third thing for today. Our last venture. Let's go forth and capture the snail. Set snail for the Sarmatian Snail. Stench, what is this place? Your nostrils burn from the sharp stench of decaying fish and dead men. Something's wrong here. There's a strong presence, a sea monster, but its absence. Probably want the money if I'm going to go to a gun land. Money. You ignore Shiv's warnings and do what any good pirate would do. Go through their pockets. If you'd open yourself to goddess, you'd realize everything that's happening now has already happened before. You notice the bodies have been painstakingly prepared, their skin painted like the patterns on a whelk. Some local tribe has been caring for this altar, sweeping the steps, leaving offerings of murdered sailors. Immortal we may be, but it does no harm to stay vigilant. All the gun four is pretty sweet, but I want to go the heavy cannon route here. The wind's with us, Captain. We'll soon have her. Well, that's not acceptable. Let's hear those cannons roar. Roar. Okay, we need to shoot their cannons yesterday. Well done, Captain. Fire at will. Oh, well, maybe not yesterday. You want to shoot my mates? Go for it. I don't really care. only three crew left on board the enemy ship. Should be very easy to defeat them. No prob. Captain Cutter kills those two. Everybody else kills that guy. <laughs> what? Me? Worry. My a drunken wastrel. I shall die of shame. Where do you want me? Your future. <laughs> I'll make it a point of pride, sir. Impeachable, painful that I imagine. Sweet. We got a big gun. Heavy cannon costs a lot of command points, but does very consistent, very high damage. 
making it very useful. These waters belong to us. Let's go. Rem what me worry? I've only got one gun. Alchemists and seagulls. I'm not familiar with the alchemist. Interesting. Okay, if we can high roll the glass cannon here. Um, yeah! We can skip the combat entirely by taking out all of their crew with the cannons. It's our first time doing that. Nice. Deleted. Put the armor on, Captain. Mysterious mist. I have to go through the mist to get to the arsenal, so we'll do that. Slightly to port. Brave of you to choose this path, the mighty Captain Cutter and the Glass Fog. Oh, we can heal a wound. Do we have any wounds? No, I don't. Okay, give me the money then. To port, sir. I wouldn't mind stretching my legs. If I had any. Glass Cannon 4 now. There is a good weapon. Excellent. What do I get from extortion here? Ooh, really good weapons. Cannon Breaker 4. Or Deck Sweeper 4. 5 damage. I want that. I want the Deck Sweeper 4. I want to be able to clean the enemy crew easily. Alright, so in this scenario, all we have to do is get one or more of our crew to this location. Shouldn't be that hard. Captain Cutter's pretty dang fast. The rope is not helpfully placed, unfortunately. Let's away. Away, anchors. Report. Find out if Flex is also broken. Either you're drunk or I am. Oh wait. Oh, I understand. Flex is not what I thought it was. I'm all for it. Let's have a gander at your insides. Ah, might I trouble you to sew it back on? Oh, thieves! 
minus armor stacking, quite bad. Ow. A fresh breeze coming in. We'll swarm this deck with their blood. My blades are itching to dance. Got minus three armor. Hmm. Quiet, not now. What? No, I'm I'm not talking to myself. Mind your business. <laughs> Yeah, then this guy will kill Captain Cutter. This, this guy will, anyway. Oh well, one wound for the captain's fine, I guess. Oh, oh but this is dreadful! Oh, thieves! Oi! I got extra salt in me stew! Worth it though. For the deck sweeper. I want double deck sweeper. You're telling me I skipped the cannon breaker. We've got glass cannon, glass cannon, volley gun, heavy cannon that can shoot can that can yeah. Totally fine. Aye, sir. Make all Although that gives me a lot of guns that can't fire on turn one. I think this is wrong. I'm sure it's fine. Or some such. Yes! Good shot, Mr. Wilts! Fire! Reload! Boarding party! Make ready! That was brutal. Ooh, brutal and indeed. Expensive. Not that he needs to, mind you, but he can. Not too many crew. Probably just skip deploying the wrestler because he's so injured now. Ah, cheer up, swabbies. We're about to win. Indeed. Let's have a bit of early burly, eh?
GG nerds. We got another deck sweeper? Sweet. I almost want to swap the volley gun for the third deck sweeper and just... But I like that I can use it on uh, cannons. I'm not particularly fond of the Sarmatian snail. It's slimy and stinks like a drowned man's snot. You find the island just where the journals described it, though they did not prepare you for the sight. The hills and peaks sparkle in the sun and appear entirely made of glass. The Sarmatian snail is one of her eldest and mightiest children, yet your old captain somehow managed to haul him away. You continue to scan the island, spying deposits of raw glass. Company left before they could complete their harvest. You could finish what they started. I'll take the glass. You watch your men harvest the glass, and the link between it and the sea monsters has never seemed clearer. Funny thing, Cutter, was the time I thought you might be the sea shepherd. Of course, you'd need to become something more than a man. Lately, you've become something less. Ow. Oh. Another glass cannon, huh? I mean, that's pretty sweet. I want this chest, though, so I'll go here. Steady, Mr. Wilkes. Once a bustling port, this place has clearly fallen on hard times. I've rarely seen so wretched a place as this, Captain. Help! Find this girl, do it now, says Shiv. Shiv leads no time to reconsider. You find yourself racing through town. Desolate, stinking alleyways that pull us deeper into the sick heart of town. Following Shiv's instructions, right, left, until we're good and lost, separated from our crew. That's when we come to a dead end. When we turn around, a frail old man bears, bars our path, grinning toothlessly. He stands with a little, little girl, also grinning toothlessly and pointing an ancient crossbow. It was a setup all along. And Shiv was in on it. But I can get a random rare item here. They take your pouch and slowly back away. When we're about to disappear, the girl throws something in our direction. A pair of boots. Plus two movement. Give that to the tank. Head in for the shallows, Captain. The crew will be grateful to slumber ashore for a spell. Let's max out on Abyssal Ether here. And then we're going here. Slick rigging. Wait, I get two more boarding crew? What? Well spotted, That's Captain. OP. Puffed up glass That's way OP. Good sport. There was a miss, or a zero damage roll. Got lots of nasty crew board. But that's what the deck sweepers are for. Wow, they get plus two max health, though. Yikes. But own crew gets minus one armor. And plus one armor. Hmm. Fire! Reload! I'm not done with this lot! Ha! We'll cut them down piece by bloody piece! I be getting them! Go on, there, Bill. We've got him! Ready for another round! Yeah, we're boarding a much bigger ship. I wonder how true to history that is. How much bigger... Ships have been boarded by pirates before. 
Typically, you would like a ship that's smaller than a, a gigantic merchant ship that's loaded down with lots of stuff. You'd want something faster that could catch up to it. If you're going to raid it. Uh, uh, no, the, uh, what I'm asking is, what is the biggest ship, like, ever captured by pirates using a smaller ship? Essentially, what's the biggest size difference between a sailor and defendant, assailant and defender, that, uh, that there was historically? That is the question. We have to get a fear kill on turn two, what I'm seeing here. Actually, wait. Ching. Water four. I got to more sales if you please. It tells me Bring I'm not using it. that. Fear sounds like a power powerful mechanic. It sure is. Oof, that shipwrecker hurts. Lots of nasty guns on this ship. Probably have to spend most of my time shooting at those. Ugh. Fire! Show them our balls, Mr. Wilkes! Damage bonus. Fire! Some are fall down their throats! Alright, Cutter's taking a hit, Reno's taking a hit, the deck sweeper is getting obliterated. Fire! Make a bank for their miserable lives! Prefer to shoot the anchor at least one time here. Better if I just. No, that's still only five. Aim 
Get rid of him. Heals his cremates. Good for them. Look at the fear meter, though. We can just kill them all. Very easily. Guys, only got two health. Victory achieved. Making poor oh, that's a bizarre, not a timing could not be more fortuitous. At least still buy good stuff here. First conk. is a bit weird. Make them go faster. More sail. Hoist the royals. Trim the sheets. Get out and bloody push. They're almost there. The breaker's one to four. It's not as good as the glass cannon. Might be better than Volley Gun, though. Aye, aye, Captain. We're heading in. Come on, you beautiful bastards. Let's raise some hell! This bastard Blackbone is very confident he left almost no guards. The men kill the few company guards without incident and peer down through a grate. There below the surface is the Sarmatian Snail. It's magnificent, but weak and half-starved. Random crewman gives three gains three wounds. All characters gain one wound. Or one cannon or module gets three fractures. Give it some ship parts. Fortified quarter deck. That's fine. This old lady of the sea is royally pissed and she's ready to show her true power. Sense of dread draws your eyes up to see Blackbone. He stands patiently like he's been waiting for a long time. How does he predict your every move? Is there a spy in your ranks? No matter, he's here. No cutter, let's run. The, the timing's all wrong. We only just fought, freed this sluggy thing. Is this what you want or what that she-demon wants? Does he know we're coming? I intend to find out. Last time we fought Blackbone, that man spent the whole fight on the floor, having gotten shot apart by our cannons, and I imagine the same will happen here. Two armor, 11 health, regen four, like that's nasty, right? But what if I just kill him? What if he just be dead, though? 
got volley guns and mortars. Really not that bad in terms of enemy offense. I think this will be fine. We'd like to remove their boarding crew mod. Is this the last boss? No. Each time we fight Blackbone, he seems to get tougher. Deck sweepers will take out Blackbone, no problem. There he goes. Poor guy. Never stood a chance. Fine, I don't have to shoot those at all. I do want to take out the armor stands. I think we'll leave the fortified cabins. They're just too tough. Very fine, gunners. Very fine. Reload. And let's have some more. We got these bombers. Make the sea turn red. Fire. Well done, crew. Oh yeah, kill that too. Alright, that was really good. It should be an easy fight. Surprised to see me again, boy. I heard you've been busy late, <laughs> rummaging through my cast offs. How did you know? Poor Esperanza. I thought to settle down and make a life with her once. She was beautiful. Beautiful till her last breath. A shame. Might as well have been your hands that killed her, Carter. You monster. I see Esperanza's charms were not lost on you, Mr. Wilkes. You have the right of it, sir. But if I be a monster, isn't it you that drove me to it? Maybe. Face it. You've done this to yourself. After you stole from me, damn you. Took me jewel and stuck it in your eye. If that weren't enough, you'd come back and steal me journals. What is it you're after now, I wonder? Same as usual, really. The means to kill you. I might have found it this time. Something you're actually afraid of. The Sea Shepherd. A man who takes all the tides in hand. Whom all creatures of the sea must abide. Think he'll come answer your prayers, do ya? How little you know. Haven't you read his journals? What's he figured out that you haven't? I, I do feel it. So should you. Though you're too dumb to know it. Well? Come on in! Draw your cutlass! Let's see how well you fare this time! Okay, enemies have a lot of health and regen, but that shouldn't stop us here. Let's start over here. Oh, wait, I had more crew I can deploy. Uh, they'll come in next turn, though. Kind of forgot about that. What'll it be? My man. So we have Toss Snail Boulder. Spawns Snail Spikes on the Chosen Cell. Interesting. We should see what this does. Blast. 
Snail spikes. Units, units pushed into snail spikes receive two more damage, ignoring armor. Dissolves into slime. Next turn. Eh. Doesn't seem that empowerful. It's fine. Oh, you lowball bastard! But I, I surrendered. Did you not hear me? You be. I'll be there. I'll, I'll prove I'm no craven. A vast you made ease. Cross map shot? No, I can't see that guy. Easy peasy. Fine JP, thanks for six months of support. You're done. Maybe I can't kill you, but your wounds are too deep to recover swiftly. Perhaps I can still find a way to finish you off. I won't stop till all the sea monsters regain their freedom. Freedom, you say? Reminds me of a charm that haunts my dreams of late. Only in the embrace of the sea, freedom finds its true form. Strange. What? Say that again. Don't listen to that crusty old man's ravings. He just likes to stir the pot. Why not just tie him up and use him as an anchor? I like that idea. I've heard that chat before. From you, Shiv. It was you. You've warned him of our attacks. I... Yes, I did. I had my reasons. I'm sorry for what it's worth. You're not as horrible as I thought. Shiv! You betrayed me! How could you? Cutter, look out! He's drinking that brew again! Glug? Oh, he doesn't look that good. Hey, boy, where were we, eh? Ah, yeah, we were talking about fear! Time for another form change? Perhaps? Victory! Sweet. Big yields. You betrayed me! Blackbird betrayed me! <laughs> Enough of this! I'm going to rip this wretched jewel out of my head! Good luck! Don't cut her. You'll die, and we'll all be proper screwed. All except for Blackbone, he wins! I don't care! I'm pulling it off! Damn it! Stop it, Cutter, please! Please! Cutter! I'm sorry. Look, I owe you an explanation. I set Blackbone on you because I thought... if you finally killed each other, it might set me free. But things got complicated when Blackbone became immortal. How do you convey your thoughts to him without my knowledge? You're always in my head! I hear everything. Everything you say! When you're snoring and dead to the world, works best when you're good and rum hmm. The diamond was hard because from the other side, Blackbone's a sack of worries and mistrusts his own men. He barely sleeps a wink. But your souls are tangled up tight as rigging in a storm. 
It's easy to jump from one to the other. Sometimes it's an effort not to. You share all my thoughts with him? No, only when we free the sea monsters. That's all, I promise. I... I don't believe you. How can I? Damn. I can't trust my own thoughts anymore. Please, there must be a way to earn your trust again. Perhaps there is. Lead me to your goddess. Uh, are you serious? You want to redeem yourself? Here's your chance. Lead me to the drowned goddess. It's about time we met, eh? Maybe she can tell me about this sea shepherd. She sells she shepherds by the seashore. Fine, fine. But a word to the wise. You may have noticed I am, on occasion, a bit cracked in the kettle, yeah? Well, comes from having a parlay with the goddess. Right, I love this plan. Let me know when you're ready. Okay, we're gonna drive ourselves insane. Sounds good. Light two. Chop three. Let me get the armor. Chop three. I see the experience requirements get pretty steep pretty quick. Retaliate now has push and advance. Interesting. That's fun. Somehow little Johnny's higher level than Captain Cutter. Looks like he has higher experience requirements. He can get pretty high level. If you want him to. Well, uh, that's all going to have to wait for next time we play Rogue Waters here at Twitch chat. I figure we only have one or two more sessions of this game before we finish the campaign, so might as well finish it. But for now, Twitch chat, I've got to get out of here. Dinner time is calling me. But we will be back tomorrow with some more Spire. And maybe more of this, actually. Originally put Brotato on the schedule, but I might just wait for the proper DLC release of Brotato. Anyhow, that's it for me, Twitch chat. Thank you so, so much for watching. See you later, side quester. Coco Frio, Zavern, KG the Jerk. The hero sleeps. And everybody else, thank you so, so much for watching. Till next time, my friends, stay cozy and have a good one. Toodaloo, folks, and good night.